feeding the ever-multiplying global population is putting too much pressure on our land, according to the United Nations, who says we have to change our ways. It says agriculture, forestry and other land use accounted for 23% of the total net greenhouse gas emissions caused by humans from 2007 to 2016. The UN's Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or the IPCC as it's known, has been meeting in Geneva to discuss ways to relieve the pressure. We humans affect more than 70% of ice-free land. A quarter of this land is degraded. The way we produce food and what we eat contributes to the loss of natural ecosystems and declining biodiversity. When land is degraded, it reduces the soil's ability to take up carbon, and this exacerbates climate change. The IPCC says vast reforestation programs can't be relied upon to offset environmental damage because such plans would take too much land out of food production and could endanger food security. Instead, it suggests making farming practices more sustainable by growing different grasses for animals to graze on, rearing different breeds of livestock and seeking genetic improvements in stock. And it had a message about our diets. Diets that are high in grains, nuts and vegetables have a lower carbon footprint than those that are high in meat and they lead to better health outcomes. There was also a plea to stop wasting the food we do have. 25 to 30 per cent of food produced is lost or wasted and reducing food loss and waste can reduce pressure on land, improve food security and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. The report didn't specifically mention the Amazon rainforest, which stores 127 billion tonnes of carbon. That's despite a new report from Brazil's Institute for Space Research saying deforestation in the region has increased by 279% over the past year. But the IPCC did highlight the need to preserve and restore forests. The overall message was while land management alone can't save the world from the most devastating effects of climate change, it could play a role in limiting the damage. Sarah Morris, TRT World.